Hello, today I'm making a special alcohol ink background for some pictures taken at New York's Rockefeller Center. I have six or seven photos that I want to fit on a two page spread. This is Emily's Paper Caper, where you'll find inspiration to scrap your stash. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and bell icon now so you won't miss any ideas. I just love all the artwork at Rockefeller Center. I especially love the murals, the mosaic murals at the front of the building. I wanted to create a special background that would complement these artworks. And I thought of no better way than to just create my own background using some of the colors that would pull out the mosaics in the photos. What I'm doing is putting some of the alcohol ink, mixative, and blending solution directly on my craft mat. And then I'm going to take the applicator and just gently swipe across my white background paper. I've tried to select colors that would complement the colors in the photos. One thing that doesn't show up in the video is the mixative has a gold metallic to it. And there's a lot of gold metallic in the mosaics in the photos. It's fun to create something for these special photos, and it's so much fun to play with these alcohol inks. If you haven't done it before, I'd encourage you to jump in and give it a try. The alcohol inks dry very quickly and I always make sure to put the caps back on the bottles. But one of the great things is I can immediately start putting photos on these pages as soon as I'm done creating the backgrounds. Now it's time to arrange my photos and photo mats. I decided to put the pictures of the mosaics across the top of the page and then other pictures taken of artwork and sculptures at Rockefeller Center across the bottom of the page. The mosaics were very forward thinking and even controversial at the time. They even predicted the use of radio and television. Now it's time for the ATG gun and getting everything adhered to the page. Thank you. 
For the page title, I've decided on amazing artwork. I'm using some tiny chipboard letters that are self-adhesive. These have been in my stash for quite a long time. As a finishing touch to the page, I'm going to create some little squares and put them across both pages to kind of resemble and draw out the mosaics in the photos. some final looks at the completed layout. Until next time, keep on scrapping everybody. Thanks for watching.